Kaluleni is one of those really, really special places in Nairobi that has such a huge role to play in the shaping of Kenya's politics and history and identity. The social hall was where the results were announced of the first Kenyan parliamentary election. And there's this famous photograph of Mwai Kibaki, Tom Boyer and Jomo Kenyatta literally leaping into the air in celebration of the results that came back on that day. So really kind of iconic place. If you look at Nairobi in the 80s and the 90s, when there was complete disinvestment in public spaces, and so the kind of decay and falling into disrepair that we see, it's something that's probably happened in the last three, four decades. Book Bank was founded in October 2017 to restore some of Nairobi's iconic libraries. The first time we walked into Kaloleni, we were immediately struck by its impact and potential. We could see how popular it was, despite the fact that it hadn't been given any love in decades and decades. Right in front of it, there's a whole field that a lot of kids from the area play in. It felt super connected to the community surrounding it. We thought it would be really good to just focus on the library through programming. We started to see immediately that the users were mostly children. We started to utilize the social hall next door with small gatherings for women. We'd put on film screenings there. Sometimes we'd have events that six, 700 children would show up at. We had all of this great data and it gave us a really good sense into who is using the library and what the community want to see from this space. So we took this data and made a case to funders and partners um, to support the architectural restoration as well as the programs that we want to see continue in these spaces. National Bank of Kenya came on board um, to support the architectural work. The textbook Centre came in with some shelves as well. We won this prize called the African Publishing Innovation Fund that is powered by the International Publishers Association and Dubai Cares, and that also supported the architectural work. Week one. Week one of six, maybe? Of six, yeah. Um, and it's going according to the plan. They're putting in the roof. Oh, taking down the roof. We're taking down the roof. There we go. Iron sheets so that they can... Um, construction! We love to see construction happening. Such a moment, man. Week one from the neighborhood came and signed up to do all sorts of jobs. And we're really proud of the fact that we were able to guarantee livelihoods, albeit for a short time, for 28 people who live in Kaloleni. That rebuild has completely, 100% kind of embodied the soul of Bookbank. We did the groundwork. We've, we've enriched the community. We've taught skills. We've had a really good partner. It's been relatively simple. And then 20 days in, we are faced with shutdown because of Corona. Hello! It's been about two weeks since I've been on site um, and this is probably one of our last site visits because they're done. Thankfully, in those 20 days before lockdown, we had worked on triple time. So by the time we were getting hit by lockdown, it was when we had to be putting in tiles or doing in bathroom fixtures, which ideally needs one person a day. It's just so surreal to see that building look like it belongs in the 21st century. Words may not be able to describe uh, what I feel because uh, it's, it's, it's a new lease of life. There is no room for, you, for us to be able to work and to be able to serve. Our work is based on congregating people in these spaces. So the possibility actually that you've got to completely change your approach was overwhelming at first, to be honest. It's a crazy time, but it's also a crazy time for everyone. There's a container of books sitting at the port. The books can't get here because of COVID. I really hope that we don't lose this. Our grant funding is so project-based that if you're not running any projects, you can't justify salaries. We just made the call to do whatever we can to keep people paid and keep their livelihoods going. This is just a fast library. There's two more to go, and then who knows how many after that. 
it's been a massive miracle, to be honest, to be able to say that we have completed um, the construction work that we committed to in Kaloleni. While we celebrate that, we are at a risk of falling back in terms of our progress if we're not able to keep the team going. So we're really appealing to you to please help us continue this success and to be able to replicate what we have done in Kaloleni elsewhere.